Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Power Pages Quick Tip Series. I'm Ambe Singh, together with Marius Vodka, who is joining me from Vienna, Austria. And in the episode one, we are going to talk about the enhanced data model. So let's dive in. When Microsoft released the Power Pages, uh, predecessors, Dynamic 365 portals, and later on the Power Apps portals, um, the framework was based on that which was developed by a company Microsoft acquired in 2015. ADXO, or basically we call the ADX Studio. To this day, Power Pages utilize at least some of the framework to drive its configuration for those um, you know, of you who are always wondering why some objects in the website configuration data and the ADX underscore prefix in front of um, in front of it like uh, ADX entity form, ADX web template, ADX underscore web template, and so on. Here you have an answer now. Portal's deployments and makers' experience were always have a challenge from the beginning uh, because of these things. Before going to the enhanced data model in Power Pages, let's have a quick insight that what Power Pages can do and what is Power Pages. So Power Pages is a secure enterprise-grade low-code software as a service SaaS platform for creating, hosting, and administrating the modern external-facing web business websites, whether you are a low-code makers or the professional developers. Power Pages empower you to rapidly design, configure, and publish the websites that works across any of the web browsers, any of the devices. Enhanced data model is a combination of the system tables, non-configuration tables, and the virtual tables. So system tables are available out of the box, which every Dataverse organizations have. As a table, um, you know, as tables are already available via system tables that need to install the additional packages eliminated here. Enhanced data models of, uh, you know, for the Power Pages provide the benefits, um, you know, like a faster website provisioning. So enhanced data model is a lightweight, which means the creation of the new website will be much, much, much quicker. Also, the faster, uh, it also faster design studio experience. So the enhanced data models also improve the speed of the design studio for the Power App uh, makers, uh, Power Pages makers. Uh, it also improves the application lifecycle management, so ALM experience, so website configuration can be contained in a solution, providing a smoother ALM experience. It improves the updates, um, or, you know, updates of Power Pages enhancement and the bug fixes um, that is also have been improved. Please note, all the sites will be created by default using the enhanced data models if you if you want to create a site on the standard data models, you can disable the enhanced data model in the Power Platform Admin Center. So currently it is not feasible to revert an enhanced data model sites to the standard data model sites back and the sites will need to, you know, you have to recreate using the standard data models, those all the sites where you want a reversion. We have mainly three kind of the tables in the enhanced data model. So we have a system tables, and these tables are the Power Pages specific solution aware tables that are you know present in all of the dataverse environments. So please note these tables cannot be modified. And the example like um, the site, the site component, and the site languages here. Then we have a non-configuration tables and. Non-configuration tables are the feature specific tables that contain the transactional business data. So data in the table, um, data in this table does not participate in the ALM process. So we have, um, I think the 10 non-configuration tables um, like add, poll, poll options. We have on poll submissions, external identity. We have a portal comments, invitation. We have an invitation redemption. We have a settings and the web form sessions. Um, then we have a virtual tables. So the you know, the Power Pages virtual table represent and contain the metadata of the specific website components. So they point to the system tables that contain these website metadata in the JavaScript object notations, with the, which is the JSON format. And you can actually update and configure the content of your virtual tables by using the Power Pages management app. And this app has the same look and feel as the older portal management app. Please note again here that if you developed any custom codes or the tools that use any of the standard data models tables, you must update the code so that it uses the enhanced data model tables. Also, these tables can't be modified. Few examples are like instead of ADX um, underscore websites now, 
you have a MSPP underscore website. So same as instead of um, ADX underscore website languages, now you have a MSPP underscore website languages. And then MSPP underscore content snippet uh, took place of the ADX content snippet and so, and so on. Now, Microsoft announced uh, that the beginning of the October 3rd, 2023, that solutions, pipelines, and the enhanced data model in the Power Pages journal availability and that already have started uh, rolling out to the different regions, to the different customers. So features highlighted for the enhanced data model, like um, you will get the Solution Explorer embedded experience in the Power Pages. So that is that is really cool. Um, you can you can add the ad sites to the solutions and export them import across the environments. Also, um, you know, we can automate the deployment of the site using an intuitive in product guided experience. It also enables the healthy ALM practice. Um, all the new sites created using any of the template, like um, you have any starter layout one, a starter layout two, three, four, five, and you are, then you have an application processing layout, um, template layout, then you have a blank page, uh, program registrations, um, then you have a scheduled meeting. So this will by default use the enhanced data models. At the same time, you know, the sites created using and other templates, um, example, the FAQs, the community, um, community portals, customer uh, portals, customer self-service portal, employee self-service portal, field services. Um, then you have a model, uh, modern community, order returns. Um, you have a partner portal. So this will, all the portals, all the portal templates uh, will continue to continue to use st still the standard data models. However, in futures, all of these templates would be updated to use the enhanced data models by default, but Microsoft is currently working on, on this thing. Please note again here, the ALM using the solution and the pipeline are available only for the sites created on the enhanced data model. So let me share the another important tip um, to determine whether your site is using the standard or the enhanced data model, you can check uh, the data model field in the site details section in the Power Pages uh, or the yeah, Power Platform Admin Centers. Also, the setup, um, you know, you have a setup workspace in the Power Pages, so you can go to the uh, Design Studio also, um, which shows which data model is being used. And Marius will show you in a minute, so yeah, don't don't worry about that one. Also, please remember that disabling the enhanced data model does not remove the solution packages or delete any of the websites. So existing websites um, that were created by using the enhanced data model continue to operate. Um, they are not going to shut down. Any new websites that are created um, using the standard data model in this case will, will continue for the standard data models. I would like to ask Marius now to show the enhanced data models in the live action. So over to you, Marius. Thanks, Ambesh. So for the demo part, we will start at the admin powerplatform.microsoft.com, the admin center. And in an re environment under resources, you have the power pages sites. And this is the only place where you can switch between the standard data model and the enhanced data model. So you see here, this environment already has the enhanced data model enabled. And in comparison, this test uh, environment does not have it enabled. So, and if you, for example, I disabled it here and then created this website. So this website will use the standard uh, data model. So if I click here on manage, you can see that in the settings. So here's data model standard. Another place where you can, can go from is from the uh, make power pages microsoft.com. Here in the ellipsis, you have uh, the admin center, which will also take you to the same site. Of course, I'm in a different environment now, and this environment has the enhanced data model active already. And Lastly, where you can also check is in the setup tab in the Maker Studio. Uh, here is also the section about data model. Otherwise, you wouldn't see the difference in the Maker Studio. Oh, well, you will see a slight difference here in the templates, but to be honest, this is not very telling which data model is used. 
um, so they will feel uh, very similar. If we take a look at the advanced configurations in the old data model or the standard data model, um, it will bring us to the portal management app. And in the new data model, the enhanced one, we will go to the power pages management. And these two apps, yeah. and these two apps look a little different. So from the navigation, this new power pages management looks very similar to the um, to the portal management app. But for example, here with web file, we can see a difference. Here we have the field file content, which hosts the content of the web file. And with the standard data model, which still had the, the uh, structure that, uh, that still had the structure of ADX, um, you, the file is not here as a file content, but it's in the nodes tab. And you see here it is a node and I could add a second node with a second yeah. file attached. And that's kind of odd, really. This is why in the enhanced data model, this behavior was changed. So what have I missed now? Sorry. <laughs> No, I think it's it's look really nice uh, in my view, and um, yeah, it's really cool to explore the new and new offerings provided by the Microsoft uh, into the Power Pages area. Let me just quickly, uh, yeah, uh, share my screen and then we can go to towards the closer for that one. So now we are done with the demos, and thank you so much, Myers, for that one. It was really nice. Uh, also, um, we would like to thank you and please stay tuned to this channel by subscribing it and pressing the bell icon so you will always get an updated content and the notifications. Uh, we will be coming up with the more interacting tips, um, you know, knowledge sharings and uh, lesson learnings around the pop pages. Also, please keep your eyes into the description of the video so that you are always up to date with the latest information. Because um, if there would be some changes, some updates are coming, we will put in the description. It's not possible to you know, remove the video and upload the fresh video against that one. Till that, uh, have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you so much. See you soon.